Imagine getting into a helicopter, going high up in the sky, and then falling thousands of feet until you crash into the ground. Yep, that is exactly what some helicopter owners experienced. If only they knew they were flying some of the most hazardous machines that exist, that wouldn't be their last flight. If you don't want to make a wrong purchase, stick around, because today we'll show you the top five most dangerous helicopters you should avoid at all costs. First on our list of wild bulls, I mean dangerous helicopters, is the Robinson R-22. It was designed in 1976 as a small two-seat trainer, but quickly gained popularity thanks to its lightweight frame. Just 547 pounds makes it easy to transport, even on an average size car. Unfortunately, the frame was also very flimsy. One of these models crashed into Lake Michigan, killing both passengers on board. There have also been a number of recalls surrounding this model due to the model's high crash rate that was quickly discovered. Of course, only when it had already made some lives miserable. So, unless you're all about the you'll die when you die lifestyle, this helicopter just might not be the right one for you. The Robinson R44 is quite similar to the R22. It was built as a two-seater trainer with an even lighter frame of 470 pounds and also flew for the first time in 1976. Unfortunately, by 1998, there had already been five accidents involving this model, leaving 10 people killed and nine injured, mainly due to issues with the hydraulic system. The unofficial amateur database even records a total of 89 fatalities of R-44 helicopter accidents and a total of 296 accidents in which these machines were involved. With so many deaths caused by malfunctions in this chopper model, it is no surprise we had to include this 38 feet long and 10 feet high bird in today's list. Can you imagine buying a helicopter for search and rescue missions and later realizing that it is one of the most dangerous helicopters in history? Probably not the best recognition. The Bell 206L was designed as a civilian helicopter for transportation or search and rescue missions, but its safety features were so poor that by 1996, over 90% of all pieces of this model ever produced had crashed at least once. This model has been discontinued since 1986, following several fatal accidents. One good thing we can say about all this is that at least the manufacturers realized that they should stop making this model, unlike other manufacturers that continue distributing their helicopters despite the enormous risk. <coughs> cough, cough, Robinson R44. The Sikorsky S-39 was designed in 1937 by Igor Sikorsky to be powered by two gas engines and carry up to six passengers. What could go wrong with that? <laughs> Good question. Despite its promising design, the manufacturer's main focus was on creating fast airplanes. This meant that it did not pay much attention to the helicopter's safety features, which were far from perfect. This model crashed several times during takeoff and landing killing all those on board in multiple instances. I don't know about you, but after hearing how often these choppers fall out of the sky, I would say this helicopter belongs on the roller coaster market, not the helicopter market. The Sikorsky S-38A is a very similar model to the previous one. It has a long history of poor performances and fatal accidents following its first flight in 1934. In fact, even though Sikorsky built around 50 aircraft of this type, only 20 managed to survive to this day. It is quite ironic that many of these models currently reside in museums, as they are considered a dangerous hazard for those who might come across them and not know better. Hmm, this Sikorsky guy sounds like he really didn't know much about helicopters, don't you think? That assumption might just be wrong, as he is mostly the creator of many harmless helicopters and even some of the most luxurious helicopters globally. But to check them out, you'll want to watch Glam Top 5's another video. Have you ever seen any of these helicopters? Let us know in the comments and check out these videos on our channel as well.